Hey everyone, this is Sean Bochelle, your friendly AP Human Geography instructor at Central Academy, along with Mr. Danielson. Actually, the name of the class is Accelerated AP Human Geography, which is what distinguishes us a little bit from this course at the home schools. Uh, students, first of all, take it uh, as freshmen, whereas at the home schools, they would typically take it as sophomores. And second of all, the course has been designed uh, to incorporate elements of historical thinking, the type of skills that students will use in other uh, social science classes here at Central Academy. So because of that, we move through the human geography curriculum at a more accelerated pace so that we can also incorporate some of those skills to prepare you for future study in social science at Central Academy. So what we have here is our class canvas page so your student can log on to this page. This is where they will comp complete their work every day. So between this and Microsoft Teams, that's how we will carry out our class for uh, the nine week term that ends in November. Here we have the, uh, well, first of all, let me talk about the syllabus. Uh, this is like an overview of the course. Uh, like I said, I teach this class along with Mr. Danielson. Um, the purpose of the class is to kind of combine AP human geography with historical thinking skills. Like I said, uh, oftentimes students, first thing they want to know is what is human geography? So we like to tell students that, uh, you know, how historians study what happened and when it happened or the 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 uh, why it happened and when it ha why it happened when it did uh, human geography is more about why it happened where it did or the why of where instead of the why of when so we look at everything from population migration to political patterns and processes economics urban land use, uh, cultural patterns and processes, uh, agricultural land use, uh, we have a good time. Uh, we cover quite a bit and we do prepare students to take the AP Human Geography exam in the spring, which is a good opportunity for them to earn college credit as high school freshmen. That's a pretty rare opportunity in Des Moines Public Schools. I believe we and I think there's a computer science principles AP exam that freshmen can take. Uh, other than that, we're the only ones where uh, the only class where freshmen can earn AP credit in Des Moines. The uh, course, like I said, this year it's different. As you know, we are moving through things pretty quickly, so we're going to cover the first semester in nine weeks. AP Human Geography textbook, you do not, you hopefully got the, the exam prep book in your bag that you picked up at Central Academy. Uh, as for the other, the actual textbook where we will do, be doing most of our work from, that's going to be online. You'll have digital access to that textbook. Uh, we do encourage you to have a notebook or binder, although we will be using uh, an app called Microsoft OneNote where students will have the chance to create digital notebooks. So uh, I'll talk to the students more about that once class begins. And then uh, attendance, we will be tracking attendance. Attendance can occur through a variety of means. We know that students aren't always going to be able to log on for class every day. Um, there may be a family situation that arises, a little sibling they're trying to take care of, so on and so forth. So we will be recording any whole class meetings that we have. Um, so student attendance can occur by showing up for Microsoft Teams meetings, logging into Canvas every day and working on the assignments, uh, contacting the teacher, that counts as class participation. So there are a variety of ways for students to participate in the class every day and we will be tracking attendance. Uh, I will try to, um, well, communication policy, it's like it is for other classes. Uh, if you send me an email or something outside of school hours after 3.30 p.m., it's probably going to take me until the next day to respond. Otherwise, I'll try to respond within a couple of hours. 
grading, grading policies and procedures, you probably are familiar by now with Des Moines Public Schools standards reference grading policy. Uh, so this class does follow that policy. So you can see the district grading scale here. So that's the story with that. The other thing I wanted to focus on was uh, explaining specifically what students will be graded on. So our course topics and scales are here. This shows our grading policy. So students earn a score for one, two, three, four, five different topics. And the scores for those five different topics are average to give an overall score for the class. And then that is converted to a letter grade. So key concepts in human geography, mainly that'll be assessed through our unit exams. Uh, we'll be doing some other things here and there that will give students a chance to improve their grade there. Uh, data and source analysis, so that's where we take either uh, primary and secondary sources that social scientists and historians would work with, or we take um, charts or graphs or uh, various other representations of statistics, and we ask students to analyze and draw conclusions about what they're seeing in the data there. Maps, of course. Uh, chronological reasoning, so that's where we ask students to be able to either explain causes and effects of an event development or process or explain the reasons for continuities and changes over periods of time. Historical and spatial relationships, that's where they compare either uh, historical events and developments or they might be asked to compare two countries. Uh, or they might be asked to take a topic and talk about how it's related to the bigger historical context. What was going on in the world at the time of that event that explains why it happened, when it did, or why it happened, where it did. And then lastly, we have writing for AP, and this will prepare students to do the type of writing they'll be asked to do in AP US History next year and other history classes here at Central. So those are the two main things that I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions about the class, feel free to contact me uh, at my district email address. And I look forward to a successful and a fabulous school year. Thank you for your time.